everyone. Welcome back to Catholic Home Life. My name is Lindsay and today is video number two of my series about homeschooling curriculum for the year 2020 to 2021. In my last video, I talked about all the curriculum picks that I have for my sixth grader and I also shared my whole group curriculum because there's several subjects that I teach to everyone which makes it way more um, streamlined and easier because I can do one thing for all my kids. In our state, we're required to teach 11 subjects and they are reading, writing, spelling, language, math, science, social studies, history, health, occupational education, and then art and music appreciation. And then we also teach religion. So that's 12 subjects and we are Catholic. So that's why I teach religion as well. The first subject that I'm going to share is reading and we use all about reading and Peter is on level three. I have used all about reading with all my kids so far and it's been successful in teaching them how to read. It's very comprehen comprehensive and very detailed and I would say to anyone thinking about doing all about reading it might be a little bit overwhelming because there's just so much to it but you don't have to do everything that's in this teacher manual you just pick what is helpful for your own child on how to learn how to read and go with that so i'm going to show you really quickly all the pieces that come with this program so there's this big teacher manual and inside here it has everything that you will say to your child as you're teaching them. So it's very scripted, which makes it easy uh, as the parent to teach your child. And then also it comes with this letter tile board. So you can use this on like a magnetic whiteboard. I choose to use it on cookie sheets. So I have these two cookie sheets that stack. And I like this because it makes it really portable and I can just go sit on the couch with my children and we can cuddle up and build words together and go through all of that together on the couch. And I think this works really well. The other part of the program is there's these word sheets. They're practice word sheets and they go with each part of the book. My kids don't really enjoy these word sheets so honestly we don't really do them but all of this came in a book and I basically cut it apart and I put it in this binder and I put everything in page protectors and then there's also these games that come with the program and my kids love the games so I laminated them and made it so that I could use them for each of my kids over and over again. So it was kind of tedious to deconstruct the book and make it all reusable. But once I did that for my older son, now I'm like able to use it for all my kids. So like here's this laminated and I kept the little like it tells you what lesson it goes with on the card itself. So these are all the big pieces to the games. And then I also took uh, this shoe box or whatever it's called, a photo box. Is that what it's called? Picture box? Anyway, this box. I put all these envelopes inside and in each envelope I wrote the name of the game and like what lesson it goes with. And then inside there are all these little laminated pieces that go with the game. So I made it very user friendly. So all I have to do is open this box, find what lesson we're doing, and then we get to play the games together. It was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of work to put this all together. But like I said, I have six kids so now now that I did this one time, I can use it easily for all my kids. I also have this box that's like an index card box and inside of it I have all the cards that go with the reading program. I'm sorry, my one of my babies is crying. He wants mama. But anyway, there's these uh, word cards in here and I have that all organized in here. Let me know if you would like a more in-depth look at the All About Reading program in the comments down below and I could do like its own devoted video maybe if you're interested. 
Uh, I'm just going to move along though to the other subjects. So for writing, I'm using this writing and rhetoric program for Peter, which I also told you my older son is using the same program, but he's uh, on book three and Peter's on book one. And this is meant to be started in third grade. So he's like right on time with it. And I really love this series and I'm excited for him to use it. So this is book one. And for spelling, I shared this in my other video, but all my kids are using this spelling wisdom book two. And that's what we're doing for spelling. Also for writing, he's doing cursive this year, which he's really excited about. He's very artistic. So um, I I tell him like cursive is like art because it you make you're writing pretty and so he's doing cursive for the first time and he's really enjoying it i also have this book for peter for third grade i'm gonna hold off on this for the first half of the year and maybe use it in the second half because i really want to focus on our all about reading program and get him to be like a really strong confident reader so this I have it, but I'm going to hold off. It's meant for third graders, so I'm actually also doing this with my sixth grader. But um, like I said, I'm going to wait on this, but I have this too. It's from the same company at, that created this. I basically love anything that Classical Academic Press puts out, so I'm just going to keep going back to their website for more and more ideas. The next subject is math and Peter is doing Delta for third grade, which is single and multiple digit division. He is an older third grader. His birthday is October. So, and I, I held him back. Like I didn't want to do it too early, do school too early. So he really was like an almost six year old when we started kindergarten. So because of that, he's a little bit ahead in math because I kind of, I just put him right into alpha when he was in kindergarten, which is the first year that alpha is the first level of Matthew C. But we love Matthew C. I've been homeschooling for seven years and it's the only program that I've tried and we love it so much that I've never looked anywhere else. I just think it's an awesome, awesome program. So, and my babies are crying, so I need to wrap this up, but I have three other things to share with you. I have these two map books and Peter is going to be finishing up this one. He had it last year and then he'll be moving on to that one. And then I also have this coloring with the saints book and this goes through the year month by month and it has, okay, this is Michael. He's going to join me to finish the video. Oh, there's Thomas. Anyway, so this coloring book, I bought one for Peter. And these, the map book and the coloring book, they are from Catholic Heritage Curricula. And I I really like that program. I, I kind of pick and choose things to incorporate from Catholic Heritage Curricula, but I definitely like these resources. And that's basically it. So like I said, the other subjects I included in my first video where it's like the whole group subjects, but that is all for third grade. And I hope you enjoyed this video. In my next video, I'll be talking about my first grader and all that I'm using for her schooling. And I hope you're doing well. And I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless you, bye.